is Annick Castle in Northumberland and it was built about a thousand years ago and it was set up as uh, a place where they could patrol the border with Scotland, uh, keep the peace and keep out any incursions. That was its purpose. Well, fast forward a thousand years and it's a little different now. It's used as a film set for Harry Potter, Downton Abbey, it's used for weddings, it's still uh, used for hospitality now today and of course it's just a big tourist attraction. Its purpose has really diminished over the years. And in our Bible reading today, we see exactly the opposite. Jesus talks about something which is greater, a greater faith, a greater fr fruitfulness. And he does this by using um, an object lesson. He is walking into Jerusalem from Bethany. It's just a couple of miles. And as he goes in, it's time for breakfast. He wants figs and the fig tree is empty of fruit. And so he curses that fig tree and sure enough, it withers and dies. And his disciples are astounded at this. And yet, if they were to look into the scriptures in the Old Testament and the prophets, in Jeremiah, in Micah, they use that very image of a fig tree that is cursed and withers to describe Israel as being faithless and unfruitful. And so, so Jesus takes that image of lacking of fruit and unfaithfulness of Israel and says that is what is happening. And this is in the days leading up to his death. And so more and more he's now in conflict with the religious leaders and with the religion of the day. In the reading it carries on with a, a quite a strange passage where it says that if you have faith not only will you be able to speak to fig trees but you'll be able to speak to mountains and cast them into the sea. So what's going on there? Well Jesus again is, is using imagery of the law which is given at Mount Sinai to, to Moses and it represented the, the old covenant, the old way of relating to God. And Jesus is now saying that mountain needs to be cast into the sea because he now points to Mount Zion, the place where Jerusalem is, the place where in just a few days he's to die. And he's talking about the new covenant that's coming and the new way of relating to God through forgiveness, through grace, receiving God's love, receiving his righteousness. So the old way needs to be cast away. And that's what Jesus is looking forward to at this point and encouraging us into. So I don't know for you, what maybe the mountains in your life, what the sticking points are, what the old faith or the, um, uh, the routine religion might be. What are the things that need to be cast aside so that you can enjoy all that God wants to give? Uh, all that's new in this Easter time and Easter season. What does greater faith look like? And that greater faith is something that Jesus gives, not something that we can attain. We receive it from him. So throw those mountains away and receive that greater faith that Jesus promises to give. If faith can move the mountains, let the mountains move. We come with expectation, waiting here for you. Waiting here for you Waiting here for you With our hands Lifted high In praise And it's you We adore
come with expectation waiting here for you waiting here for you 